is in California. I live in Michigan. But uh, I tell you what, that guy, I don't know if he even sleeps. You know, I didn't expect him to respond. I just would send him a, a message, uh, you know, an email. And, you know, literally by the time I put my phone back in my pocket, the guy's responding to me and answered all my questions. Even started asking him other questions about some rings and, you know, from... And that's why I do it. What's going on everyone? It's Brain Witch Code You Find Jewelry, your personal jeweler. In this video, we're gonna do a review on the new mini crucifix cross. I got a nice everyday setup. I'll get into details in the next clip, but just for you guys that are hanging around, I wanna show you guys a prototype of a new pendant. The holiday season is around the corner. I have to add new stuff to the website. Um, and I want to add a nugget pendant. I get a lot of requests about the nuggets, but I didn't want to do the typical, um, like you see the nugget rings and the nugget pendant design. Even though I love it, I'm a gold guy, I like the culture. That classic design is very classic. Just like me wearing this crucifix, I haven't been to church in 10 years, but I got the crucifix on because it's that classic look and it looks well for what I'm trying to do, just a simple everyday setup. But I wanted more of an organic, a different look, like an actual um, gold nugget picker, as you would say, something you'd unearth out of the ground. Let me know what you guys think. Obviously, this is the wax design. I need to cast it, polish it, and see how it comes together and get it into actual gold before it's a yay or nay. But I kind of like the design. It's a little different. Sometimes it, it takes a little longer for things to stick and get used to. But I definitely want to do something different with a gold nugget as opposed to just kind of a, the typical design. So net, let me know what you guys think down below. Um, and let's get to this review video. The Jokoji Crucifix pendant has been very popular. I don't know why I never released a mini size to begin with because this is now my new favorite size. Um, I made a custom piece for a client, Ricky. Some of you guys actually might have seen the review video. And as he put in or requested it, I'm like, wait a second, I need that. And as it finished before I had to ship it to it, I'm like, I want to hold on to this and start wearing it because I just feel like it's such a great size and a piece. I don't want to get too into uh, details about like mini sizes because I'm saving those videos honestly closer to Black Friday and the holiday season. Really get into depth about those reviews and how to wear them. But a main comparison is the mini and standard size. As you guys can see, there is a big difference and it really depends on how you're wearing it. And that is why these videos and that website, www.jacoji.com, is a great source because I tend to make multiple sizes depending on what you're trying to do. Today is a Wednesday. I'm filming this video. I'm going to go out to dinner a little later. I am working. I don't have a lot of time, nor do I want anything really heavy or showy. I just want a simple setup. To be honest, I don't even want to know I'm wearing jewelry today. And this is exactly what the setup I have. I have a 4 millimeter, 24 inch flat curb and a 1.5 millimeter, 20 inch diamond cut Franco holding the mini crucifix. The rule of thumb when layering and you want that separation is 4 inches. So 20 inch plus the crucifix and then I have the 24 inch flat curb. That's 4 inches between that 20 and 24 to get a nice layering. Now there's different variables that that will affect that pendant size or whatever, but that is the general rule of thumb and that's what I like it. The four millimeter flat curve stands out. It does not overpower. Yes, I could go with a five and a half or another chain, but I just want a simple gold look and these chains, these pendants aren't that heavy, so it does the job of just providing a simple look, everyday casual look, but you definitely know I got something on and that's the goal and objective. The mini crucifix, one and one quarter inch, which is pretty big for a mini size, Usually mini size is about one inch, but I've been kind of increasing the sizes as I release more product to kind of make it like that. And because the crucifix isn't like a lion where it's round, um, it doesn't look that big. So one and one quarter of a lion piece versus a crucifix is going to be two separate looks um, just because of that. Uh, the lion is just more solid and has a rounder look. It takes up more surface space compared to a skinny cross. So just keep that in mind. Same thing with like the Italian horn or the angel wing. Same concept there. So you get a nice piece. It's simple. I think it's between three, four grams. So it doesn't weigh a lot. You pair with a simple chain and then wear it. I like to wear my mini crucifixes or mini pieces a little higher just like I'm doing in this video. Um, but you could drop it. Depends on the look that you want. 
Uh, but 10, I usually go 20 inches for these mini sizes, just to wear up top and then I'll drop something below if I'm feeling fancy. In this video, I am, I'm just wearing it. If it was just a normal day, I would probably just go one and a half, 20 inch or whatever chain I'd choose and just rock it solo. Keep my everyday chains tucked inside. Uh, they tend to flop out and then I look like a messy setup, but the perfect look that I got going right here that I picked out for this video. I feel like it pairs. And most importantly, it is for the everyday people. More and more you see jewelers trying to flex as much as they got. Here's a $100,000 Diamond Cuban link. This right here, and I've claimed this since day one, it doesn't matter what chains I got in the safe, the big chains that I got to sell, it does not matter. I'm telling you right now, this look right here, you do it right, you pair it, you weld it, and most importantly, you get good quality chains is going to outweigh a chain that could be 10 times um, the amount if you're not wearing it right. So as long as you plan and wear the right stuff and wear it with confidence, you're going to have an overall great look. And for those who want to go on the website, know about pricing for a piece like this, just keep in mind, this is one of my most labor intense pieces. I'm actually in the process of doing a build video like I did with the barrel lock, the Jesus piece. The next build video, take you behind the scenes on how these pieces are made, will be the crucifix cross. So you guys will get an idea and then I'll do an in-depth review like kind of as that video is going. Um, I'm starting to enjoy doing those, filming those videos and taking you guys behind the scenes in depth about what's really going on be with these pieces. Um, I really like, honestly, my point of view with that, the commentary and just kind of giving you guys the real talk with these pieces and how it is done. So that's pretty much that. This will be on the website when you see it. You got to compare it side by side it. Reach out to me if you have any questions, what you want to do, what chain you want to pair with. Keep in mind these aren't the largest bales, so I'd keep it like two and a half millimeters and below, but it does depend on the chain. The Franco chains have bigger end caps and let's say the rope chain. So again, if you have an existing chain that you want to reach out and ask me if it's going to work or not, I'm always there to help you guys out. Thank you guys for the support. Smash that like button, leave a comment down below. That's it for today's video and we will see you on our next jewelry video.